All right, what's going on, everybody? Georgia fans, especially. Um, I know you guys have got to be excited for getting a transfer quarterback like JT Daniels. Uh, man, JT Daniels, man, former five star recruit, especially in the composite rankings during the 2018 recruiting class. Um, you're talking about a kid that um, was supposed to be, he was supposed to be in the 2019 class, um, but he was just that damn good, right? Led modern day to a national championship, undefeated record, one of the best high school teams ever. And of course, you know, that that entire modern day team was stacked. But man, JT Daniels was, he's a talent, man, an absolute talent. Um, again, this is a kid that left early. He left, you know, he went to go play at USC as a junior, became the starting quarterback when he, when he could have been a senior in high school. And, um, you know, he struggled in the early parts. But again, during those late game stretches, you start to see the real JT Daniels. You start to see maturity. You start to see development for this kid, uh, especially in that Notre Dame game, right? That Notre Dame game, arguably the best game of his career, had over 334 yards, I believe, somewhere around that park, so, somewhere on the park of 330 yards, um, you know, had over a 70% completion percentage, high QBR, good touchdown interception ratio in that game. Um, and again, that's a Notre Dame defense that was one of the best defenses in the country, and that got Notre Dame to that undefeated record going into the playoffs. And that Notre Dame game was his best game. So this kid has he has the intangibles, he has the attributes, he has the you know he has he has he has the tools to become a starting quarterback in college football. Um, I think the thing for J T. Daniels was he he caught it's kind of like a Jacob Eason type of thing where injury just kind of derailed his path, right, um, from becoming that, that guy at USC, right? He got hurt. Keaton Slovis comes in. He, you know, a backup quarterback that that was an absolute monster, became one of the best quarterbacks in the country um, last year. So it's kind of like Jake Fromm to, you know, what, what happened with Jacob Eason with Jake Fromm, and then obviously Jacob Eason transferred the same way like JT Daniels transferred. Um, both guys with very, very strong arms, can move well in the pocket, um, right there, you know, they're, they're more, they're more guys that has, they're, that has more athletic upside, bigger quarterbacks, um, compared to that, that Jake Fromm, Keaton Slovis type of, type of quarterback there. Um, but Georgia, uh, let's talk about that real quick, guys. So Jamie Newman's there and he's 6'4", 230 pounds, has phenomenal arm strength, can make all the throws you can want him to. I think the only thing about him was just consistency. Um, but Jamie Newman's a guy that's gonna that's coming in in the top monk in offense. You know, again, they're revolutionizing the offense. They're starting to run a lot more spread, and that a lot more spread there. Um, you saw the you saw the type of receivers they got for the twenty twenty recruiting class. A lot of guys that whether if it's size or just or just pure speed with great route running ability. Um, these receivers are a lot different compared to the other receivers that Georgia has recruited the last three to four years. So obviously they're changing the dynamic of that offense. And Jamie Newman's a guy that could be a perfect fit. But JT Daniels is a guy that again played at USC. It was more of an air raid type of style of offense there at USC. They aired the ball out a lot. Of course, they had a lot of weapons there. Um, but remember, JT Daniels was the starting quarterback from his freshman year. And then of course his sophomore year he had a good game, right? He had a good, you know, he was he was he threw an interception, but that first game had a really good game until guess what? He got hurt was out for the rest of the season. So JT Downs, a former five-star quarterback, a guy with a lot of talent, a lot of upside coming into the University of Georgia, and it's going to be a quarterback battle. Now, I will say this. Um, there might, I think that for Georgia fans, I think they should be excited for this because you have two potential starting quarterbacks that could start anywhere else in the country that are competing at your roster. And I think that for the fall, um, for that fall camp, it's, it's going to be Whoever's the best man, I, I truly believe, is the best guy and a guy that could lead Georgia to a, a promising record. You're talking about a, a potential national championship contender um, with either of these quarterbacks here. So, again, it, it, it could have been a true freshman that – and, again, Jamie Newman, knowing him, he's a guy that's probably going to win the job. But now it's a legit quarterback battle. Um, Jamie Newman's a guy that again he transferred in was supposed to go was supposed to well he I, th I think he actually did enroll for the spring, um, or maybe he's enrolling for fall, but it's a legit quarterback battle, and again whoever's the best guy between J T Daniels and um, Jamie Newman again I think is the guy that's that could potentially lead this team to a potential national championship run in the future. Um, so let me know, Georgia fans, how you guys feel about this. Do you feel like Jamie Newman's the guy, or do you think JT Daniels can can step in and win it? Uh, let me know below the comment section, uh, comment section, guys, and we can definitely hash it out there.
So anyway, guys, Gen Sub 16. Catch you guys later. Peace.